So, you want to grow your own pineapples, but you don't have pines, you don't have apples. Looks like you're out of luck, guys and girls. Hey guys, I'm Matt, that's by Kai, I'm Kai. Today we're back once again taking a look at how to create this cool scrolling kind of, uh, uh I don't know, overlay? And, and use that in OBS. I figured we would start doing uh, some OBS tutorials because I've seen a lot of you guys have been searching for it recently. So I want to go ahead and get started with this because there's not too many. I mean, there is kind of a lot of OBS tutorials sometimes, but I'm going to go ahead and get started on some things that I haven't seen uh, enough of. And this is important where you render these two. So to create a new folder and call them like cards or something because we're going to need to use this folder to make the cards scroll. So I'm going to ca call some cards one in a folder called cards. And then I'm going to call this one. The same thing, but this is going to be, as you can see, in the same folder, pictures, cards, and we're going to name this one card two. There we go. Nice. So with that done, let's go ahead and go back to OBS. And now you can see it's going to like duplicate itself up here. And these three things that I have here, this one is just the display capture so you guys can see what I'm doing right now, obviously. This is the audio for the game that I have in the background that I'll be able to show you the overlay over top of. And this is the audio of my microphone. So don't worry about these three. Um, we have a default scene. Um, and there's some things that are a little different here, but uh, as you can see, everything is basically how it mo most likely be. My layout is a little different, but um, let's go ahead and right click this, hit add, go up to image. And you can see, um, well, you have, we have two different options here. We can do either image or we can do image slideshow. We need to actually do image slideshow. So make sure that is uh, that I'm going to call this um, overlays. Nice. Now you can see when we open this up, it is going to pop open a little thing here. And what we're going to do, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go out, go and scroll on down until we find image files. Let me open this up. Image files. As you can see, there's a big old box here where we can choose multiple images. But what we need to do first before that is go ahead and go down to this little uh, this little plus and hit add directory. Now instead of going ahead and looking for um, everything that we were looking for before, I'm going to go ahead and pull that that uh, folder up that we had before, which is this cards folder. So you can see right here we have this uh, pictures cards. Actually, it's not going to say there's anything in it because it's only looking for folders, not looking for the files. It's looking for the folders. Let's go ahead and hit select folder. As you can see, once we do that, it instantly pulls up the first card and then it will rotate them, uh, rotate between them every 8,000 milliseconds. Um, so it's just so we can see what it looks like. There we go. It's rotate. I was going to say we can put it on 80 just so we can see that it's actually transitioning. But as you can see, it is. So we can put it back on something like 800 or 8,000 or whatever you want. Um, but yeah, you can do like a seconds to a millisecond converter on the internet if you want to find out the exact seconds. Um, the transition speed is obviously the time it takes to fade between the two. So if you want it to be really, really short, it'd just be like 100 or something. And then once it transitions, it would be like, oof. it would, it would be like, it would be like, it would be like, oof. there you go. Instead of really, really, really slow, like, um, like. Like really, really slow. Like, <clears throat> mm -hmm. any 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 day now. Yeah. Yep. Just uh, stand on the screen here. There we go. So obviously the transition the transition speed is really important depending on what you want to do. I recommend just leaving it on something like maybe 200, 300, um, and then leaving the uh, 8,000 is pretty decent. It's a pretty pretty decent time, I guess. I suppose you can make it longer. You can make it shorter. Um, you can hit slide, hide slideshow. I can't speak when it's done. So once all the images have been uh, shown, it can you can hide it. You can also randomize it so that it, it's not um, the same order every time. Um, and you can make it so that it's automatic or manual, so that you have to press a hot key for these to actually switch instead of it doing it on its own. And then the transition type, obviously, you have cut, which is just gonna pop in between, back and forth between all of the images. It's not gonna fade at all. Um, or you have swipe and slide. This is cut. There you go, cut. And then you have swipe, which is going to swipe uh, like that, which looks really cool in my opinion. I changed the uh, speed at which they do it so we can, so we don't have to wait that long. But and then you of course have slide, which is going to make the entire thing slide out of the picture instead of staying where it is and just swiping away. So they are all very, very cool options. I think the uh, slide and the uh, swipe and the fade are very cool. I don't really think the cut is that cool. I don't really know why you would want to use that, but obviously uh, to each his own. Go ahead and use cut if you want to. But, uh, but that's basically it. The bounty box, obviously keep it as automatic. Um, you don't really need to change this because um, if you have different sized images, it'll really mess it up. So just leave it how it is. Hit OK. Now, as you can see, once we have that, we have this nice little overlay. You can usually put it over on the right hand side, which is what most streamers do. I'm going to go ahead and change that um, time uh, back a little bit because it's a little fast. So give it a little bit more seconds. Now, the next thing I want to do is just show you the overlay in its full form. I'm going to right click this, go to add and we'll go to um, game capture. Hit OK, and then I'll go ahead and change um, to specific window, and then we'll make this specific window 
um, we'll make this uh, we'll make this Valorant because I have Valorant open right now just to uh, show you. So let's go ahead and make sure this game captures underneath the um, uh, overlays. And then we can go ahead and take a look at this uh, in-game, quote-unquote, as it were, I suppose. So as you can see, it looks like, you know, you'd be doing whatever you're doing, streaming, playing, whatever. And you see the um, the uh, overlays over off on the right-hand side, or not the right-hand side, sorry, the... Uh, the uh, yeah, the right-hand side, what am I thinking? Over on the right-hand side, just scrolls through, and this is giving you a pretty good idea of what this would potentially look like in the future. Like I said, um, we will do more tutorials on OBS if you guys really do enjoy this, and you really did enjoy this. Um, hope you did once again. Like I said, this is very fast. Obviously, you would slow it down because this is extremely, extremely fast, but um, this is basically uh, what it would look like, and obviously, that's a little big to me, so it may make it a little bit smaller, maybe move it down about right here depending on what game you're playing or what you're doing if it's just chatting obviously you'd probably want to move it um for valorant i'd probably move it up here actually to be honest with you but um but yeah so that's basically uh that's basically it. like i said hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed today's tutorial i will see you in the next one but uh but until then bye bye